get ready 10 seconds 5 seconds start sir this amending bill is quite a healthy one and on behalf of workers i think we would be justified in welcoming the various provisions of the bill it was but natural and justifiable that the indian airlines and the air india corporation should be brought within the jurisdiction of the central sphere but at the same time i take this opportunity to bring one particular fact to the notice of the labor ministry that the provisions of the industrial disputes act are not being properly extended to the concerns that have already been brought under the jurisdiction of the center i am referring to the railways as a matter of fact the industrial disputes act is applicable to the railways but it is well known that the administration has persistently refused to abide by the provision and therefore i should like to request the government that they should be very particular about the effective implementation of the provisions of the industrial disputes act in the various concerns which are brought within its purview that the dispute between an employee and an employer should be an industrial dispute no doubt we stand for the growth of a strong trade union movement and as such we would like to see that every workman is represented through the union and that every industry should have only one union so that the principle of one industry one union should be brought into practice nevertheless under the present circumstances it would be just unjustifiable to deny the workers their right to get their cases represented through a union or through their own lawyers or themselves as such this particular provision under the present circumstances deserves to be welcomed though we should like to see that in times to come there should be growth of healthy trade union movement under which every workman would be represented through some union or the other the lay of compensation would become payable for all the days of lay off beyond the first 45 days whether the period is continuous or not this is also a welcome feature of this bill because as we all know our employers have been experts in depriving labor of its legitimate dues various devices have been adopted to this effect on many occasions i would like particularly to mention the device of continuing workman for years together as temporary just through some technical lacuna mr vice chairman it is a very good amendment introduced now by the labor and employment ministry for amending section 2 it will stop the indian airlines and the indian corporation adopting a method which would be putting the public of this country to great difficulties as we have been experiencing hitherto they were not brought under 
the purview of the Industrial Disputes Act and therefore they had no other chance or source or approach than to demonstrate by getting themselves under sick list by a doctor's certificate or adopting some go slow policy or by offering satyagraha or something else this introduction of iac and the air india corporation into the industrial disputes act and bringing them under the purview of this act will avoid in the future such activities of the staff of these bodies that has been one of the main objectives in the last session when the industrial disputes act was first amended we had insisted on the government to see that these concerns are brought under the act and a provision is made for them to seek the law instead of going in for direct action this will stop hereafter such activities of the staff of the iac and the air india corporation i do not find fault with the staff of the iac or the air india corporation because there will be no smoke if there is no fire the bureaucratic administration at the head of these is the cause for creating grievances and since the staff did not have any other recourse they adopted them but hereafter they will not adopt such untoward activities which put the public and the traffic in difficulties next the insertion of section 2a is not a good one discharges dismissals retrenchments or termination of the services of individual workmen will hereafter be deemed as an industrial dispute though some of the trade union organizations in this country may not like such an insertion because they will be thinking that they do not have sufficient membership in the trade union we true to our democratic socialist tendency and gandhian philosophy give democracy to everybody and therefore whether they join a trade union or not we give them some trade unions do exploit the situation and live on such dismissals and even go to some of the administrators and managements and ask them to discharge some workers so that they will have some job to do such things hereafter will not be given room and the individual worker will have an approach to the court for getting redress of his grievances